grad student day in my life. Focusing on grad school and doing assignments, catching up for the week. Um, so I thought I'd preface this by saying that the assignments for both of my classes are due on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. So today is Monday and that's normally when I like to actually get my assignments done. Um, kind of like last minute of course, but I'm always just so busy and just to talk about my program for a little bit I'm currently getting my master's of science in social work and I am in an accelerated program meaning that our classes are split into seven week modules instead of the normal like 16 week semesters like an undergrad so my classes are just really fast paced and so like every week I have three to four assignments per class that's the main difference between my program and the traditional uh, social work program but yeah, that's about it. I am just logging into Blackboard right now and just to kind of see what my assignments are for this week. Um, so like I said, our classes are structured into seven week periods. So um, this week is week four. Tomorrow I have a discussion and an assignment and a quiz. So I'm just gonna look at what is required of the discussion and and see if I can get it done right now reading the textbook and the chapter powerpoints which are really helpful and on most days I like to make a little to-do list of what I'm going to do today just to stay on task and remember what I need to do today okay so today is July 26th I have to look at my assignments and then watch lectures and the powerpoints for the chapters this week I'm going to make breakfast after this discussion for which I know is due tomorrow and then I'll probably just like get ready for the day you know do my hair because it's a disaster right now. Um, I like to walk Rudy around noon and then I'll probably make lunch because I bought some salads that I want to eat today and then try to work on assignment four, which is a three page paper. I'm gonna try to get that done today as well before I work probably do some editing and then I work at four so this is pretty much what I am doing today it's a good thing to write it down and that way like when you complete something you can just check it off and at the end of the day it just makes you feel good that you checked off all of these things that you did today so I'm gonna go ahead and watch my lectures for the week as well as review the PowerPoints just so that when I actually do my discussion, I know what I'm talking about and I don't have to be scrambling through the textbook and trying to look for the answers. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I will check back in with you guys in a little bit. So this is my breakfast. It looks super yummy. I'm so excited to eat. Um, I'm just drinking water because I already had my coffee this morning and something weird about me I don't really like to have coffee with my breakfast so I like to drink it separately like before like the first thing I do is drink coffee and then with whatever I eat breakfast with I'll normally drink water it's pretty rare if I have a second coffee in the morning and Mr. Rudy is here he likes to lay down on the chairs <laughs> after he eats his breakfast so he'll be joining me um, but yeah, I'm so excited to eat. I will check back in with you guys a little later. So now that I have finished eating, I did some homework. I can now check off breakfast and I'm just gonna start getting ready for the day, like doing my hair and makeup just to feel more put together, even though I don't think I'm gonna be going anywhere. But yeah, it's just good to get ready, feel put together as opposed to like in your PJs, you know? So I just finished getting ready. I did like some simple makeup, just like 
20 minute makeup i got too lazy i didn't feel like straightening my hair and i changed my outfit this is what i'm wearing today it's like pretty simple and chill just wearing a pink fly t-shirt and biker shorts my top is from ross and my biker shorts are from forever 21 um but yeah on most days i dress pretty chill since i don't really do much and if i go somewhere then i'm like already dressed pretty casually um but yeah this is the fit company the usual mr rudy's here with me oh you're so handsome he just got a bath yesterday he's nice and clean nice and clean right buddy This is around the time when he's just like kind of lazy, going to sleep. It is 10.34, still a good start to the day, still relatively early. Um, I work at 4, so I still have pretty much the whole day to myself, which is awesome. Because then once I work, I get out at 9, and then that's the, that's the end of the day. There's nothing else to do at that time, so see you guys in a bit. I'm going to meet my mom at subway she is on her lunch break right now and asked if i wanted to meet up with her so i'm down for that i can just eat like my salad later i'm gonna drive to subway right now but my brother's car is behind mine and i can't move but he's coming to move it i'm gonna go eat lunch now and join my mom Currently in line uh, for a car wash. It is 12:17. Just put gas into my car, and so might as well get a car wash. I think I might vacuum my car as well because it's pretty dirty. check off things for my to-do list so i did get ready i had lunch and now i'm gonna work on assignment four and then when rudy asks me to go outside i'll take him just gonna hang out for now and then work on the assignment i'm like pretty tired i will check back in with you guys in a little bit so it is 2 43 right now i am going to get started on that paper i was talking about earlier um see how much i can get done right now if not then i still have tomorrow since it's all due tomorrow anyway i just like to be ahead because then my next class's assignments are due on wednesday so i do everything like a day in advance if that makes sense so I'm gonna get started on that. Hopefully it's not as complicated. I haven't even like read the instructions, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do this for maybe about like 30, 40 minutes. anybody is curious of the type of assignments that we get um, so this paper focuses on community development corporation and we have to find a corporation in 
our community or like locally so for instance i live in the rio grande valley and so i found a corporation here in south texas called come dream come build and it's a nonprofit organization that provides affordable housing to citizens in south texas so we have to research on the agency and then apply six essential characteristics of a CDC, a community development corporation, and then just like highlight its relevance with the agency that we're actually researching because they're like applicable to real life. So for instance, we're doing this assignment, but this could be beneficial in our future career where we might need to know resources like this for future clients or patients. So it's actually really interesting. I mean, I don't mind doing homework like this because it's just way more relevant than like just reading a textbook and like summarizing what you learned. So this is actually like real life stuff. I'm doing my research on this organization and then we're just writing a paper on it. So I think I might be able to get it done today. If not, then like most of it, but at least I already have like the information and the agency. I just need to write about it um, with the textbook. So it's not that bad. And two to three pages is normally pretty short. It kind of just depends on the professor, um, but like for instance this class, I've had this professor before for my first module ever back in January and I really enjoy her class. Um, things are structured really well, but it is a lot of work. So yeah, I'm gonna continue with this paper and just doing my research, but I thought I would just kind of like update you guys on like what it is that we do in our program in case you're unfamiliar with social work or social services so this is just a little example as to what i study i think it's really interesting i love to help people out make lives better found that calling through social work thankfully and i'm loving it so far i am a quarter of the way through my program so it's going really well i graduate with my master's next december so december 22 so yeah this is the research that i'm doing and i'll see how much i can get done today for sure i want to take my quiz before i start working probably gonna take a break from this in a little bit take my quiz and then get ready for work so i actually just remembered that i need to email my practicum coordinator because my internship starts august 25th and we're still like in the process of finding our agencies which are assigned to us we can't choose but we can choose like what sector of social work we want to be in so a little bit about that i'm interested in medical social work but also mental health social work so i'm hoping that i get placed at um, either of the hospitals here where i live or um, one that's 30 minutes away i wouldn't mind driving there but I'm also interested in rehabilitation services, so um, physical rehabilitation or just like any kind of rehabilitation like after an accident or incident. I'm interested in that and there is a rehabilitation hospital so close to me, so I'm hoping maybe that could work out as well. But yeah, I just need to send her an email to make sure that things are still happening because yeah, a few of my classmates and I have all been kind of stressing about this because we don't have an agency assigned to us yet and our internship starts august 25th so literally a month from now and we don't even know where we're going to be at but we have turned in like all of our paperwork and COVID tests and all these like long paperwork applications we just need to actually interview at our agency once we get told where that is so yeah i'm gonna shoot her an email really quickly okay so i went ahead and emailed my practicum coordinator so we'll see if i get an answer to that we'll see
just checking in it is 906 and I'm just about a clock out I am so tired today was pretty productive though so that's a good thing I started to edit earlier but that needs to be done I'll probably do that tomorrow honestly I'm like really tired all right, I clocked out for the night. I'm gonna try to write a little more of that paper just so that I have more to work with tomorrow when it's due. I'm gonna work on that really quickly. All right, so here is my little to-do list again. I did work on the assignment, which is what I wanted to do. I edited and then worked we did it we accomplished the day and tomorrow is going to be another day with the exact same kind of routine the good thing is that i'm off from work tomorrow so i don't work tuesdays and saturdays which is amazing i can get a little break and just focus on school and then kind of just do whatever i want in the evening normally i like to hang out with bola anyways so yeah, tomorrow's gonna be a pretty chill day. I'm gonna wake up early and finish that paper so I don't have to be stressing about it like midday or the evening. I kind of talked a little bit more than I have in the past videos that I've made, so I really appreciate it if you stuck around. Um, and yeah, um, subscribe if you're interested in more like grad school day in my life or just like any questions you have. Um, I'd love to answer them or give any advice, maybe like an advice video of applying or you know like the differences between undergrad and grad school i'd love to do anything like that um like i said i have been in my program for seven months now so i'm a lot more well adjusted to what is expected and i'm kind of used to it by now